So if you guys don't know yet, Dark Blade is worth around like 3 leopards right now. So is this sword really that good? Besides the fact that this sword has been changed visually, you get your own idol, a different jump animation, a different running animation, and the abilities are changed a little bit. Alright, let me show you guys the damage of Dark Blade. 10,645. This is the damage of the hold. 200 more. For Dark Blade, I feel like there are more cons than pros. So pros, the damage isn't too bad. 10,600 usually. But it's probably like 4,000 against a regular person. Maybe even less. This sword looks cool. I think it's a pretty cool like flex. And it's one of the more skilled weapons. For cons, I think this sword doesn't have enough mobility. The only dash it has is a hold, which I don't really like, and the dash is not that far as well. If your enemy has like full charges on their Ken, you won't be able to break it at all. So they can dodge this, they can dodge this, they can dodge this, and maybe you can hit them with this. And then there isn't too much combos with this sword. I'm pretty sure the most used combo is probably this right here. Right. I mean, of course, with God Human, like you, you'll probably have around like three combos. And if you look at most swords that are in the current meta right now, like True Triple Katana, Dual Chris Katana, um, like you can probably even put Gravity Kane, Midnight Blade, Rengoku, and Shark Anchor. They all have this move that is a dash, and they kind of stun the enemy as well. So like, like this, right? You see that? Same thing with True Triple Katana as well. Alright. I feel like swords that have a dash, and I'm not talking about dashes like Shisui where you could just go through them like that. I'm talking about the dashes that can lead into another combo, so like this right here. Right? Or dashes that keep the enemy in place, like this. I think they are just a lot better if you are a sword main. They offer more kill pressure and again, it's just better mobility. All right, let's go bounty hunt and see how this sword is.
All right, so my final conclusions for this sword. I don't think it's too bad. You definitely need faster internet and you have to have faster reaction time to follow all your combos. But overall, this sword is not terrible. But do I think it's worth the price it is right now? Definitely not. Unless you just want to use Dark Blade because it's cool, go ahead. But if you are just looking to bounty hunt and you want the easiest time for yourself, I still recommend Curse Duo Katana, Gravity Kane, True Triple Katana, maybe Midnight Blade and Rengoku, and for sure Shark Anchor. Alright, and that will be it for the video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, y'all.